Hello everyone, this is Carly from Creatively Graphics, and today I'll be walking through you through the process of creating the core plate of my armor. This will be a similar process for your armor if you choose to create your own core plates. So first you want to start out with inserting the sketch image that you will be using and scaling it properly to what size you'd like it to be. I have guidelines set up from measurements that I've taken of myself. And once we have scaled everything properly, we're going to start out with creating a three-point arc. The first selection determines where the arc starts, the second selection determines where it ends, and the third selection determines where the curviest part of the arc is. And then I'm also going to be adding circles based on the sketch that I am showing. And as far as what size these are going to be, it's just based on what I like. There's no exact measurements, but you are going to want to make sure that both sides are symmetrical. So if one circle on one side is 19 millimeters, you're going to want the exact same one on the other side to gonna be the exact same size or else it's gonna look weird. And then once you have that, you're going to want to go up to the create menu to create a cylinder because that's how we're going to get the curvature of a body for the core plate. And you're just going to want to mimic about what you think the curvature would be for your body where this core plate is going to be. And once you have your cylinder created, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the entire cylinder covers the entirety of the sketch itself, or else it's not going to work 
mixture it properly, as I've said in my other videos. And then once everything is ready to be extruded, you need to select the particular areas of the sketch that are going to be the same thickness. And you can do this by clicking the, sh by holding down the shift key. And then from there you hit the, the E key or um, extrude. And then on the extrude menu, it's gonna have multiple different um, ways you can personalize how you want this to look. So for the start point, you're going to want to have it be on object instead of profile plane. And once you click the object, you're going to want under object, it's going to ask you to select the particular extrusion object you want. So you're going to select the cylinder that we created. And then for direction, it's just going to be one side. For the distance, that's completely up to you, but under operation, one thing I've noticed from Autodesk Fusion 360, my version automatically jumps to either join or cut, most of the time join for whatever reason. I don't want this um, piece of armor to be attached to the cylinder, so I want to change join to new body, which is going to keep all the pieces separated. And then again, you do that um, you select the other pieces that are going to be their own thickness and you extrude those from the same extrusion object, in this case the cylinder. And then once you have everything to your liking, you're going to export it as a STL file, which will help you to get it into the slicing software. I use FlashPrint. I believe the STL files will work with any type of slicing software. So that is all I have for today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day.